So welcome and good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the third installment of our six week body positive yoga program. My name is Katie D and I'm a librarian with the Sacramento Public Library where books are just the beginning. We are so excited to offer this program and to have local yoga instructor Kirsten Johnson with us today and we'll get to her in just a second. Um, so first I wanted to mention a few things. This program is made possible through a grant from the Network of the National Library of Medicine and is intended to help you learn techniques for mindful living. Yoga can provide many benefits, including lowering stress, relieving low back pain, and managing sleep problems. There is some great information available about mindfulness and yoga available on the National Institutes of Health Wellness page, which I will link to in the chat. So today's session will be recorded so you can watch it later or share it with a friend. And then make sure to stick around after the demonstration for a book talk on a title from our collection related to this week's theme. So with that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn things over and Kirsten, you can take it away. Alrighty, welcome everyone. Um, namaste, welcome to your practice. Welcome to this beautiful Saturday morning. Um, my name is Kirsten, and today, as we go through our yoga chakra series, um, our body positive yoga chakra series, we're coming up on the third chakra. So um, I usually like to talk a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot at the beginning, just to give you a little bit of explanation and some um, background about what we're doing, not too deep. But um, as I was telling Katie in the previous classes that I think chakras, which is usually wheels or energy, are very... There's can be a little woo woo, can be a little out there. Then what are those? And so it's really best to be felt. So you have your own experience, your own way of um, having those chakras or having an experience with that. So we'll today we're talking about the third chakra, which is our solar plexus chakra. So right here in the um, right above the, or below the diaphragm, above the navel. So that's what we will be investigating, giving you that opportunity to really feel, to get in touch, to see how your body and your life interacts with that chakra. So we're gonna actually get started lying down on the mat. So if you wanna start getting into a comfortable place, I'm gonna remain seated for a little bit, but if you wanna get settled lying down, um, maybe moving some things out of your way and have your, um, strap available if you have a strap if, or you have that extension cord or something available with you um, have that handy for you but just get settled lying just lying down on your back maybe like you're in shavasana so I'll just demonstrate for just a little bit my coffee out the way and settling into just how you're arriving into your practice so coming down maybe moving through the and then just lying here having your leg extend and just coming into so we're just going to start our practice how we would normally end the practice in shavasana in a lying down pose and the third chakra the manipura chakra or the solar plexus is located like i said into the belly up right in the, the diaphragm so we're going to start to incorporate some breath so as you breathe in maybe putting your hand right above your navel this time and between your navel and your um, upper part of the belly and just start to breathe in inhale you can have both hands here and exhale release <sighs> and you may exhale with some sound with a full sigh just settling into your breath this my pure chakra is associated with the color yellow, hence I have on the color yellow today to embody that with the element of fire. So all of this um, is tied into your choices, your confidence, your power, your willing to just show up and be who you are. So as we move up from the chakras, we did with the, um, the root chakra of I am, we did with the um, sacral chakra, which is I feel, and now we're doing with the solar plexus, I do, a powerful action. 
So notice how you feel as you breathe in your body. I do. We've also investigated this area with the tapas element that we did um, with the mamas, yamas and the niyamas. And so I do. How do you feel? The choices that you make, the way that you show up. Just continue to breathe and to connect with your choices. Your, this practice will all be about giving yourself agency, authority, and permission. So a lot of times in yoga, the instructor will say, do this, do that, and step your right foot. This is only going to be about how do you feel? How do you feel in your body today? welcoming, accepting, and loving all parts of that. So I'll be giving you some options, some variations, or you may have some other personal things that you already know that is accessible to you. Give yourself full permission to do the actions that feel right for you. Keep on breathing into your power, breathing in, Breathing out. We'll start to develop a connection with a full balanced breath of just breathing into the diaphragm. So as you inhale and the lungs expand, feel your hands try to lift uh, to lift into until uh, feel your belly lift into your hands. And exhale. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, it all comes back into center, starting to feel into your personal power. And knowing that this is where we'll be moving and feeling and giving you that experience to do anything and to create this power within you so that what you do on the mat carries off of the mat. And since we'll be doing and feeling into this area, I'll give you a little preview, we're gonna be doing core. So you can do as much as you want today. It's gonna to be all about what you're feeling, building up your strength and your personal power. Another full breath here, inhale. Full breath out, exhale. And then for the next five rounds of breath, give yourself an affirmation of I do, I do, I choose, I, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're choosing to do, knowing that it's right for your body and your practice. Keep on breathing, inhale, full round body, exhale, ha, let it all go out the mouth. If you're on the mat, lying down on your mat, go ahead and bring your knees into the chest and just give yourself a little hug. Maybe give your ankles a little roll just for showing up and being here today. Yes, knowing that you're going to take care of your body in this practice. Having your strap near you, drop your left foot down to the mat, leave your right foot in, the right knee in, maybe open up with some hip circles if that feels good. Remember, this is going to be how you want to feel and doing the actions, yes, that feel right. And then bring that left knee, your right knee back in, Get your, grab your strap, we're gonna loop it around your right foot and send that right foot up to the sky, stretch you through the heel, inhale, lengthen, pointing and flexing the foot, extending through the heel. Now this is where you can stay. Remember, this is about what you're feeling and, and doing the actions that feel right. Stay here, or you can extend the opposite leg, extend the left leg long. So that's one option. If you feel that it's pulling, tightening, then come back up here. And then remember, do you, boo, do you. Breathe here. Yeah, so I'm going to keep my knee bent, but you can extend that leg. All right, one more option for this. Put the both straps into the right hand, left hand comes on the left thigh. 
whether your left thigh is extended or the left knee is bent. And go ahead and let that right knee come on out to the right. Body's got to come with it, so that's why we have our left hand on our thigh to keep the left hip rooted. Breathing out, stretching out long. Breathe here. Oh, breathe out. One more breath here. Come on back through center. Let go of the strap. Cross the right knee over the left knee. Go ahead and rebend that right leg. I mean that left leg. And it's not cross the right knee over the left knee. Bring the knees back into the chest. And then just take a gentle twist over to the left. The left hand can come on top of the right knee. And if you want to, you can use blocks underneath both knees. Remember, if this does not feel right, you can uncross the knees and come into a gentle twist this way. And we'll take another full breath here, full breath out. Go ahead and uncross the knees or just bring both knees back to center, hug the knees into chest real quick one time, breathe here. And then let the legs come apart, move through that. You'll have options to move and transition in a way that restores your energy, rebalances your chakras. So go ahead and move through that. And then when you're ready, left knee stays in, right um, foot comes down. Go ahead and give your ankles and toes a little love and then bring that left hip in and out. Okay, left knee comes back to center, find your strap, loop the strap around the top of that foot and extend it long. Inhale, breathe. Soften your grip of the strap, your shoulders are back and relax onto the mat, face, jaw, everything. The only thing that's lengthening here is your leg. Okay. Now, if you want to go ahead and extend that opposite leg, go ahead. That's your choice. Or when you're ready, you can also do that option of putting the strap into the left hand and letting the left leg come on out to the left. Remember, we're not pulling, we're just allowing this to take place with the breath. Breathe in and exhale. All right, come on back through center, breathe in. Let go of that strap, bring both knees in. Left knee crosses over the right knee, hug it all in, and then let it come on over to the right. A gentle twist over to the right. Left right hand can come on top of the left knee. And remember, we're just allowing this twist to take place, feeling all into the belly and breathing. Here you go. Breathe here. And release. Oh, one more breath like that. There you go. Full inhale, full exhale. Everything comes back up. Move it all through. Mm. And then let everything come on back down. Okay, so we're moving through a little bit of, like I said, a little bit of fire, a little bit of heat, and we're gonna do this on the, on the mat. So for me, doing planks is not a good thing because I live with a lot of carpal tunnel. So I like to do my core on the mat. So let's experience what that feels like. On your breath in, we're gonna bring the knees up. The shins are gonna be parallel with the ground. So this is called dead butt. We're gonna press the hands into the thighs thighs into the hands, flex your feet. And this could be a lot of work right here. Just where you are, remember to breathe. If you're looking for a little bit more, go ahead and start to lift the shoulders up and look at your hands. Keep on breathing. Remember, not holding the, we're holding the pose, not the breath. Breathe here. And we'll do this for another five, four, three. Keep pressing into each other, two, one, hold. everything lowers back down. Maybe you open up the feet wide and just winch a walker from side to side. All right, back to center, a little bit more playing with the core. We'll do this with our aid of our block. So grab a block, ooh yeah. We're gonna have a block right here. We're gonna squeeze it, bring it in between our knees. Knees are gonna come back up like where it was squeezing that block in, and all that could be a lot of work right there, coming back to our dead bud. Or we can play a little bit with some movement. 
So we're going to do a little bit of heel taps. When you breathe in, bringing uh, letting the heels tap toward the earth, breathing out, letting the block come up. So that could be one version, or you can, second version is leave the hands right here, lift them up the chest, and do these little heel taps. Let's do five of these. Breathe in. Oh, crunching it all in. Inhale. Exhale, you squeeze it in. There we go. One more time. Well, we actually got three more times. Oh, that's three. Breathe and squeeze. Remember, the back of the body is staying connected to the mat, and the only thing we're just moving from our core, moving from our center. Breathe in here. Oh, remove the block. Windshield wiper from side to side. Woo. Okay. One more opportunity to play with core. You choose which option. You could do dead bug, you can do move, or we can place that block all the way down by the ankle and extend the leg long. What we'll do is we'll extend long here. We'll transfer the block to the hands and extend long here. Exhale, come on back up. All right, and extend long on your inhale. Exhale, squeeze it all in, transfer the block to the hands. Exhale, all the way long. Two more times wherever you are, wherever you're doing, you work at your, you do you. Woo, you feeling it already? Okay, one more time here. Oh, long all the way. Come on back to your Shavasana, your horse pose, or maybe you windshield up it from side to side. Hmm. Okay, let's come on over to our hands and knees. This is where that block or the blanket underneath the knees are coming handy. And I like to use blocks underneath my hands. That helps me lift down, rise up. We'll come into a little cat cow. So inhale as you drop the belly, extend the spine. Oh, and then exhale you round. This could be your cat cow version right here. Or remember, doing what feels right as you find some rounding in your back. Maybe you breathe in as you round and you exhale and drop the belly, taking some circles in the spine. So keep breathing and keep moving and keep doing what feels right for you. I'm getting a little hot already. How about you? Reverse that circle if you are doing the circles. There you go. Or continue your cat and cat. All right, coming back, descender coming back to neutral. We'll come into a child's pose. Let's give ourselves a rest a little bit before we get into some more action. Sink the, the tailbone back to the heels, walk the arms forward and let the chest come down to the earth. Breathe here, breathe in and exhale release. Starting to feel, starting to heat up in a little bit of the center. Inhale, all your power, your confidence, your strength, your core is all coming right here. Ooh. All right, when you're ready, press down to the hands, tuck the toes, lift up the tailbone, come on up and back to a down dog. And here's your chance to do what feels naturally, maybe you walk the dog, bend the knees a lot, press the thighs, the chest back toward the thighs, down dog. Another breath here. Inhale, look up at the hands, and then you walk or step, hop, however you come into your forward fold, bend the knees once again, let the crown come toward the ground, Maybe you cross opposite elbows with the hands or hands rooted down on blocks. Press down through your feet. Mm, lifting up to the tail. Forward fold. And then we'll slowly rise on up to the top. So you press down, root from the bottom. On inhale, maybe the arms come out wide. Slowly uncurl your spine, inhale. All the way to the top, exhale, hands to the heart. Coming on back to a mountain pose. We'll move all of this out the way for a little bit as we get into a little bit more movement. Bringing blocks to the top of the mat, 
And there's always going to be an option for you to use and come down to your knee. So blanket on the mat if you want to have that option. Come in into mountain pose. Feel your power as you root down, rise up, engage all of your center, feeling into your body. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Let's move a little bit. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale, you're going to start to bow. We're going to come to a half lift. Hands on shins, straighten at the back. Look you down at the front. Um, there we go. Back to your bow. Root down, rise to the top. Just feeling into the body right here. And then hands back to the heart. One more time there, and we'll add on. Like a little chorus. We'll keep on adding on steps as you breathe in. And exhale, you fold. Come on to a half lift here. Back to your fold. One more time, breathe in as you reach to the top. And then hand to your heart. All right, adding on. Breathe in. And we're lengthening, reaching, stretching long. Feel this in your body. Exhale, you bow. Half lift here on the breath in. And then we're going to sit back into a seat. So bending the knees. We did this last week. We've got two different, we got ways to do our knees. We can do knees apart, knees together, or even wide apart. So you choose your seat where you want to sit back into your seat. Belly is going to go on top of the thighs, sitting back and feeling all this into the center. And then when you're ready, root down, lifting up the arms. Cactus arms are available. We're sitting into a chair. Maybe looking down at the knees, bringing the knees in alignment with the ankles right here. One more breath here. Feeling all your power. Oh, yes, I'm sitting a little bit in more into my seat. And then exhale, we bow forward. Oh, stay here for a breath here. And then when you're ready, we're going to root down to the hands. Step back to a down dog. We'll do that out with your down dog one more time. Okay, on your next breath in, let the right leg lift up long. And you have that little stretch again where you want to open up, maybe bend through that right hip. And here's your choice. Bring your right knee all the way to the right elbow. Step it all the way through on the ball of the back foot. Maybe you come down to the knee or maybe you stay lifted and set up your lunge on the right side. Move through it. When you're ready, here we go. Lifting up from your strength, from your base, from your source of power, you root down and rise up. Settle into your lunge wherever you are. It could be here. One more breath here. Oh, another breath out. Let's do that on the other side. Come on back through to your down dog. Maybe you do the three leg dog as you come back down to a down dog. Pause in the middle, pretty transition, wiggle that out, and then coming back to stillness. Left leg lifts up long. One more opportunity to open up that left side. And then step it on through. Set up the low lunge on the left side. So move through that. Remember, this is your choice to feel, to be, to do what feels right in your body. Maybe come down to the knee. Once you set up the base, we'll take a breath in. Start to rise up. Breathe in. Soften your shoulders as you lift up through the fingertips. Crown is lifted. Breathe in here. Inhale. Exhale back down to your down dog, three-legged dog, and then down dog. Another full breath here. Inhale. Look up to the top of the hands, and then maybe you walk or you tap into your personal tower, get light on your knees, and you jump up to a forward fold. Inhale as you half lift. 
and back to your fold. There we go. Come on, on up to the top. Breathe in, reach up all the way to the top. Root down, rise. And hands to the heart. So we'll try that one more time. We'll move with one breath, maybe one or two breaths. Again, remember, you do you per movement. And then we'll keep adding on. And you choose how much you would like to add on. Okay. As we come back to our mountain pose, breathing in and exhaling out. Let's do this. Inhale as you lengthen, rise. Exhale, you fold. Half lift on the breath in, and then sitting back to a chair, lifting up on the breath out. There we go. We'll stay here for one breath here, one breath out. On your next breath out, go ahead and bow back down to your fold. Step back to a down dog. Inhale as your right leg lifts up. And then this time, we're just going to step it on through, set up our low lunge. Breathe in, rise to the top. <sighs> Exhale, back down to a down dog. Ooh, there we go. One more time, lifting up the, the settling back into a down dog. This time on your next breath, right left leg lifts up and then step it on through. Root down to rise up, settle in right here. One more breath coming on back to your down dog. And remember, there's always an option. I'm going to give you a few breaths. I don't do a vinyasa flow, but if you have a vinyasa flow where you'd like to come up to a plank, tap it into that personal power once again, coming all the way down and coming up to an up dog or cobra, and then meeting in down dog, that is your option. You've got three breaths to meet everybody back in down dog. Breathe here and exhale. On your next breath up, you're gonna come on up to the top. So you choose, you wanna walk, float, or hop up to the top to your forward fold. And then we half lift here. Yes, we got it, there we go. And then back to a fold. Come on, let's right to the top, yes. And hands to the heart. We're adding on here, stepping more into our power. Breathe in as we lengthen. Woo, yes, and come on in back to a bow. Half lift here, then sit it back to a chair. There we go. Breathe in, rise up. Exhale, you stay. One more breath here in the chair, and then coming on back to a forward fold. Step back to a down dog when you're ready. Settle it in. Left leg lifts, I mean, right leg lifts up. We're on the right side this time. And then we're gonna step it on through. When you find your root, then we rise. All right, we're adding on here one more powerful pose, a couple more powerful pose to add into our little personal power. We're here, we're gonna drop that back foot, open up, powerful pose, warrior two. Step into it, lean into it, find it right here. Maybe you bend into that front knee, right hand on the right knee to open up as the back leg straightens. Looking over, find your power in warrior two. Saddle in. One more breath in warrior two. Let's flip our warrior, reverse it. Right hand comes up, left hand comes down. Lean in, maybe you look up, opening, soften the shoulders, root down through that back foot, Bending into the front knee. One more breath here. Open back up to your warrior two. Let's reverse that coming all the way back down to your down dog. Remember, you have a way to come to your down dog. I'm going to come back with the down dog. But if you want to do a vinyasa, you come on through your vinyasa down dog. Everybody will meet there. And then we'll do this on the left side, left leg lifts. And then we step it on through, find your low lunge, press it on right here, inhale, rise to the top. Root down, rise, <sighs> open up, warrior two on the left side. Find that gentle where you wanna land into your warrior two, bending, straightening that front knee until you find your warrior two, looking over the front hand maybe this time. 
opening up, looking over the back hand, shoulders are parallel, reaching far away from the hands. Breathe. Maybe you have a little bit more strength of root down and bend a little bit more into that knee. Remember, this is what you can do for your body. Let's reverse this. Top hand comes up, back hand comes down. Make it a flow, make it fun. Come on in to your reversal warrior. And remember, we're breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. One more time in, one more time out. Let's cartwheel that all back down. You find your way back to a down dog, either through a vinyasa flow or through a down dog. Remember, this is all about your choice. How do you feel in your body? If it does not feel right for you, then you don't have to, you can skip that part. Oh, coming into a down dog. Let's come on up to the top. Light on the feet, jumping up or walking up. Come on up, forward fold. Half lift when you're ready. Back to your fold. One more time. Let's come on up to the top. And hand to the heart. All right, so we'll do that sequence one more time and then maybe add on a little bit of spice at the end. What do you say? Let's try it on out. Remember, this is your dance. Breathe in, come up to with your roots. Rising up, feeling all this belly personal power. Inhale as we reach up long and bow on the breath out. We're just going flowing straight through. Half left here, root down, sit back, chair on the breath out. Woo! One more time in your chair, breathing in. And then exhale, you back down to your bow. When you're ready, step it back to down dog. Okay. Right side lifts up, and then we step it on through. Here we go, settle in, rise on the breath in. Open up, warrior two on the breath out. One more time, let's reverse the warrior, inhale. Back to warrior two, exhale. Coming on back, find your way. You got three breaths to get back to down dog, however you make it there, or maybe you just rest in down dog, living it out. Come in, settle back in. Left leg comes off long. And then come on, step it through. Find the base, root to rise. Open up on the breath in, then reverse it right here. Back to your down dog, all the way back down and around. Mm, however you get there is fine. Maybe you tried that option of vinyasa, or maybe you come on back to down dog. Try that hop, breathe in, light on the knees, hopping up to the top. Oh, forward fold. Half lift on the breath in, and then back down to a root dog, your breath out. Come on up, all the way to the top. And then hands to the heart. All right, so to get a little bit of flow, let's tap a little bit more into our personal power. Seated, rooted into our personal power. Coming back up to the top of your mat, and we'll do a little bit of balancing and root it. For first, let's come out and out, open up the arms. Maybe there's a slight back bend. Palms are gonna be facing up. Mm, softening the shoulders. Give yourself a hug, right arm over left arm. Ah, maybe this is where you stay, right here. Or if it's available to you, lift up the hand on the back of the palm, hands come to meet. Keep the elbows coming away from the face. Hands coming away from the face. Now here's where you can stay, or you can bring the inside of the palms together. But we're gonna do an eagle pose. So remember, there's always options. So this is a hand option. You can come here, you can come here, you can come here. Oh, all the way back out, the hands come down back down. Let's try that on the left side and then we'll incorporate the legs. One more time. Arms come out wide, this time left arm over right arm, give yourself a hug. One option, I call this genie hands where the elbows come out like this. Two options, back of the hands come to meet or the front of the hands come to meet. Lift up the elbows, hands come away from the face, soften your shoulders here. 
and exhale. All right, inhale, open all the way back up, and then hands come back down. Okay, we'll incorporate that with the lower half. So we're gonna breathe in this time. We're this is the top result. Chair. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. I think something just came up. Oh. Okay, there we go. Zoom, we're at home, you know. Okay, let's just do that with, with the lower half. So let's time one more time. We're gonna sink back into that chair. Breathe in, sink back into your chair. And this time we're gonna come heavy on the left foot, right leg, so I'm gonna lift up. Remember how we crossed that knee over knee? We have this option right here. Right knee is gonna cross over the left knee. You can have the right toe onto a block. You can have a right toe wrap around your foot if that's available to you. But here we are, we're gonna sit into our chair right here. Tap into your personal power as you press down through that left foot, that standing foot, lifting up through the chest. Arms are gonna come out, right arm over left, give yourself a hug. So maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring the arms up, lifting the arms up, flying into your ego. Breathe here. Eagles are powerful. Eagles are elegant. Oh, sit a little bit more into your ego. Breathe. All right. One more chance. Open up those wings, uncross your arms, lifting up that right leg, set it all back down. Notice how you feel. Wiggle it all out. Woo! Okay. That's one more time. Let's do that on the opposite side. Pressing down. We're going to sit back into our chair one more time. This time we're going to press down through the right foot. Lift up the left knee. Knees crossed. Maybe you bring that, wrap that left toe around that standing leg, or maybe you come to blocks. As you sit down, left arm comes on top. Find your eagle arms. And lifting up through the crown, sitting into your seat, engaging that whole center, your personal power you breathe here. Sing a little bit more if it's available to you, lifting up through the crown, breathe in. Oh, everything lifts back up, open up. <sighs> Wiggle it all out, wiggle it all out. Woo! Okay, let's come on back down to the ground. A little bit more activity or a little more awareness as it comes on down to our center. Hmm. Just a little bit more engagement, just to tap into your own personal power, your personal fire, what you have going on for you. Oh, we're going to do. This with a little bit of boat pose. Go with your other side, boat. Ooh, so much fun. All that engagement that we did, we're going to use that once again. I like to use a strap for my boat pose. Sometimes you can use a wall. But we're just going to come on back down to a seat. And notice how your spine is long, bending in the knees, toes, can, feet can be on the ground. I like to use a strap. Here's one option. Strap underneath the feet. Pulling onto the strap as you lean back, engaging all your center, looking up through the knees, almost like we did on the ground, and you're pushing through that strap. One option. Second option is have your hands behind your knees as you lean back, engage, looking up the heels. Woo! Second option. Third option, and this is, remember, how do you feel and what can you do is to lean back, you can help the knees up, lifting up the legs, oh, and straighten up the arms. Okay, we're only gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Let's do it. You choose which option you're gonna use. I'm gonna use the strap option today. That's where I am. And the other option is to use a wall if you're near a wall. Okay, so you got it? You got where you're gonna choose? All right, let's do it. Take another breath in, a breath out, come on. Find your boat pose. Woo! Remember, we're lifting up to the crown. Heart is open. Engaging all your center. Yes. Breathing. Feeling. 
choosing to be strong. Mm. Halfway there. I feel it too. Belly shaking. That's a sign that it's working. Oh, yes. You come back out. That's okay. You come back in. As many times as you need to. Five more seconds. Five. Four. Come on. Let's spin strong. Three. Two and one. Oh, I felt all that. I hope you did too. Yes. One more. Okay, I tricked you. One more thing of our personal power. We're going to come all the way back down just as we started. Knees come back into the center. Roll from side to side. Notice how you're feeling. And remember, this one thing is optional. Just one more chance to play around with your strength, your core, your belly, your choice. Okay, let the legs come lift up. If you want to include a block in this, you can. That same block in between the angles. And all we're going to do is lower the legs one third at a time and hold. So we're going to breathe in here. I like to have a hand around my hips so that it can stabilize. Exhale, we're going to just lower one third of the way. Keep pressing through the heels. Breathe in here. Exhale, one third of the way. Looking up at the toes, if you want a little extra, breathe in here. Let the feet hover right here above the ground. We'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's bring it all the way back up. We're going to do that two more times, okay? Breathe here. Exhale. Woo. One third. One more time. Inhale. One third of the way back. One more time. And breathe in. Upper, upper, looking up at the feet, looking at that block. Maybe you want to reach up or you stay here. Woo. Last time. Inhale. Bring it all back up. Yes. I'm feeling it too. Okay, let's bring it one more time. Down and hold. A little bit more down and hold. Oh, yes. One more time. Holding, holding, breathing. Oh, I'm feeling all your power. Two, one. Everything comes back down. Ah, hands on belly, hands on the side or just bring in the knees and give yourself a little hug, twist and move, yes. Mm. Maybe give your ankles and toes a little bit of love. There we go. Whew. All right, let the left knee come down, right knee stays hugged into center, come into a figure four, let the right ankle cross over the left thigh, Knee is bent. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you reach through that opening, grab that left thigh and bring it into center. You can also do this with a strap wrapped around your left thigh. Soften your shoulders and breathe. Mm. Noticing what you were able to do today, how you're feeling with that choice. One more gentle opportunity also to breathe into our center, our solar plexus, taking a gentle twist over to the left. You can leave the knees in or the legs in figure four, dropping the left foot or the right foot over to the left side, or you can uncross the knees and just come into any type of gentle twist that feels right for you. Let the shoulders relax onto the mat. All right, come on back up to center. When you're ready, figure four on the opposite side. Squeeze it all in, breathe here. And then taking your gentle twist over to the right.
noticing your breath, noticing your choice, moving in a way that you choose. Back on up the center and make some movement back and forth, side to side. And then choosing whether to end your practice in Shavasana like we started or coming up to a seat once again. We will stay here for just a few seconds of just tapping in once again to your personal power. Hands come onto the belly, right where we started. Rooting down through your seat, lifting up through your crown, or just being on the mat. Noticing the choices that you made, the breath that resides, the fire inside of you. Whenever you're feeling and needing a place to tap into your personal power, this is where you come to. Your choices, your confidence, your strength, your courage shows up for yourself all the time on the mat and off of the mat. I do. When you are ready, go ahead and bring your arms out wide. Inhale. Hands come back down to your heart. Exhale. We'll take a breath here together as we breathe in. And exhale out. And you can start to wiggle, to move, to come on up to a seat. As we end the practice in the spirit of Mbutu, which is I am, because we are, what we do together here on the mat, we feel, we connect, we choose. We know we allow others to have the same in their lives. Thank you for your practice. I think I got a little bit carried away with the personal power, but went a little bit over. Y'all do that and let me know how it feels. Remember, I feel, I do, I am. It's all up to you how you are interacting with your chakras. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, thank you so much for that. I was like, the lunges were really helpful today. Um, I had a really long week at work and I knew that I wasn't taking care of my posture while I was sitting in front of the computer. So this was, I feel a lot better now. So thank you for that. Um, and yeah, thank you all. Um, so today's yoga related selection is yoga wisdom at work, finding sanity off the mat and on the job um, by Marin and Jamie Shokir. So with each chapter highlighting one of the eight limbs of yoga, this book demonstrates how the principles of yoga can be utilized in a work environment and stresses the importance of incorporating these practices into your daily life. So each limb is introduced with an anecdote that the authors had collected over their years of practicing and teaching yoga and is then followed by a definition of the limb and how its principles could translate off the mat and on the job. So they provide situational examples of how engaging in these principles can either encourage or disrupt the flow of work and why it is important to be self-aware of your place within the whole. What is great about this title is that you don't have to read it front to back in order to understand the message. It is designed for readers to jump around if needed to dive deeper into certain limbs over others. So I appreciated their candor and how accessible their writing style was. And I also enjoyed the five suggestions for practicing the various yogic limbs at the conclusion of each chapter. So they rely heavily on journaling and self-reflection, which can help you identify your role as an individual and as part of the collective at your place of employment. It emphasizes how yoga is a mental, emotional, and spiritual journey, not just a physical practice. And overall, this is a solid choice if you are interested in yoga, workplace dynamics, or are looking for a good nonfiction book to pick up. So thank you again for joining us for Body Positive Yoga. We invite you to explore additional exercise resources in the library collection, including yoga books and DVDs available now through Hoopla. You can keep your eyes peeled for an email with a link to a survey so we can gather your feedback on this program. For more information about our health literacy initiatives, curbside pickup locations, and upcoming virtual programs, you can go to www.saclibrary.org. And for Katie and Kirsten and the Sacramento Public Library, be well, and we will see you next time. Bye.